Hello everyone, so um, I genuinely do not care if me making this post makes me lose any subscribers or fans. I don't care at all because this has so many people in the United States scared right now, including myself. So please take the time out of your day to watch the following video explaining all of the things that have been going on in the United States of America as of yesterday, June 24th, 2022. Millions of women in the US are about to lose their legal right to have an abortion. It's all because the Supreme Court has overturned a ruling called Roe v. Wade. Wade. Here's everything you need to know. In 1969, a woman called Norma McCorvey was pregnant with her third child. She decided to challenge the near total ban on abortion in Texas. She was given a name to protect her identity, Jane Roe, and she was up against a local official called Henry Wade, and so the case became known Roe v. Wade. In 1973, Roe won and the Supreme Court ruled that women do have the right to an abortion up to the first three months of pregnancy. It also allowed states to impose some restrictions between the three and six month marks. But now, after nearly 50 years, Roe v. Wade has been overturned and millions of women will lose their right to an abortion. That's because 13 states had already passed so-called trigger laws, which means that abortion was banned the moment Roe v. Wade was overruled. Pro-choice groups say that the ruling will hit poor women and ethnic minorities the hardest. This chart has all the states labeled and their current statuses with everything that's going on right now. And as you can see in the chart, if you are within any of the dark red states, then it is completely banned in your state to have an abortion. And if you want to read the following sheet, but basically to sum everything up, if you use the period checking App, you're going to want to delete that and if it is a necessity in your life then there's a different one that is based for the UK that you can download but you do not want to have the period tracker app in your phone. I will also be having the link to a petition that you can sign um, in the pinned comment and in the description of this video. If you would like to go sign that, please sign it if you can. It would be really helpful. They're trying to get 300,000 signatures um, and they're almost there. So please, please, please go sign it if you can. And also there is a way to donate if you would like to chip in some money. Now, if you live in the United States and you would like to help get this whole thing to stop then you're going to need to help out by obviously signing the petitions but also um don't buy anything i've seen people making videos about this um and how we can finally get the government to start hearing us out you um if it's possible do not buy anything um if you have it at your house don't buy it um just trying to not buy anything um, because all they care about is money. That's really what they care about. Um, so if you, they um, stop getting money, then they'll finally start hearing us out. Many people are scared and they have every right to be, but please try to stay calm in this whole situation and to stay strong together. We will get through this. If you don't have a uterus, you should not be making any sort of judgments on this. So I just think it's astonishing that the Supreme Court was allowed to even pass this. It's absolutely disgusting knowing that um, more than half of them don't even have a uterus, yet they get to pass these things on. The absolute speed that we are going back in time is absolutely disgusting, and I'm so just fed up with the United States. These quote-unquote pro-lifers do not actually care about people dying, because if they did, they would be pro-choice. Because they cannot even distinguish between a fetus and a living person. So please, if you live in the United States of America, do what you can to get this law out. I'm so, so sorry to everybody who is scared by this and you have every right to be, but please remain calm with this. As said before, we are going to get through this. Goodbye, everyone. I love you all so much.